Alright folks, it's time for part 4 of Final Fantasy 7. So we're, we find ourselves at the hideout, and this is kind of where Avalanche has their base of operations. Now obviously the thing about it is, is they're high enough to get, like, responses from the government, and Shinra is what that is. So a lot of corporations don't like this group, and they're trying to wipe them out, but they're trying to do it under a veil of trying to make it like conducive to like everyday life so that's kind of the thing I mean that's what's different about this game compared to like the the two-dimensional Final Fantasies is it kind of has real-life segments that have to do with it as far as uh, you know now it's about like well the government and the urban development and the mayor and those sorts of things they have to make sure that it's not seen as pandemonium or some, you know, I, I don't know the words for it, but you, you, get, you get the idea. So this game, uh, and I kind of like the way it does that, you know, it has the idea of work and everyday life. It's not so much like the past ones, where it would just mainly... I mean, it has like a city feel. That's kind of the situation. I'm glad for that. You know, it kind of keeps things thriving. Cause there's, yeah, there's all sorts of clubs and things like that, and bars and stuff. But we're gonna get some armor. We're gonna get some stuff for these characters that they need to upgrade. And I'm just kind of under the impression of like, I gotta move the cat. So Barrett's not going to be in the group for too much longer, but I'm still going to upgrade him because he's basically this, he's the, either the second, he's basically the second strongest character, so. But, I mean, this depends on how much training, I'm trying, yeah. We're getting ready to meet Tifa. I think this is the episode where Tifa enters the fray and uh, we'll find out the name that I've selected for her. So that's kind of the thing. She's not going to be called Tifa in this. There actually is other stuff. So the problem with it is, is I keep going to these menus just because uh, circle is the confirm button, X is cancel, but in my older playthrough, I was used to X being confirm and circle cancel, so it was just kind of... A lot of the times I wind up talking to the characters I'm not really trying to talk to. I'm trying to use the run button, and it doesn't. So I just need to let me get that in motion. But in later playthroughs, I wind up... Uh, Later playthroughs, I wind up switching back to the original configuration, but like at least in part four and five, it's going to be circle is cancel and X is confirm. Uh, so we're just going to learn more about the game. This is actually like a training facility to kind of show you the ropes, but I'm not going to do it. I, I mean, I do go here in like a later bit of the playthrough, but I'm not going to really utilize that. So this is telling you like how to use save points and those sorts of things. But, Up here is an N, which I'm not going to use. <laughs> kind of the thing. I mean, typically, I mean, that's kind of the situation. Is uh, you know, for most Final Fantasies, that this is kind of. I mean, back in the older ones, you had to use the N's more often than just using potions and Phoenix Downs and stuff. So, but. So I don't know when I'm actually going to need an N, but they're cheap. You know, that's the thing. I mean, ten gil just to. Uh, you know, completely heal is not 
you know, that's, that's kind of a steal, considering the items just take more, so... Maybe that's... <laughs> maybe I should do that. <laughs> Might save some time. But... I think that we're about out of activities in this area, so we're gonna talk to Barrett and so on. I wish I could have saw what Barrett was saying there. I don't know what he was trying to say. Huh. This is kind of like a mini bar. I'm trying to, I think, I'm thinking that. This is kind of their means of making money. It's a bar, but it's also kind of like a hideout slash bar. So. <laughs> so, but yeah, Tifa's not going to be called Tifa, so try and guess what you think it would be. saw somewhere in this game it said Cloud was 21, so I, um, I think Barrett's like in his 30s somewhere, because he, he, I mean that kid over there is his kid, and uh, I think Tifa is 21, and possibly Ares is also, but, so, they're of age, uh -huh. so that's at least the thing. wanting you to leave the store, so but Barrett comes in, so <laughs> kinda of funny. So now Cloud's gonna get his payment and uh we kinda get to starting up the next mission, but there is a memory scene that's gonna take place in part five. That's probably gonna take up most of the episode, but after that we'll get back to some fighting and then Eventually, Ares is going to enter the fray also. So these are just kind of... It's kind of starting to heat up, but, you know, we have to show... Yeah, wow. I'm kind of glad that the, the beginning is not boring. <laughs> the situation is just... I mean, it's lazy, but it's not dull. You know, like some movies, it takes like 40 minutes or so, 30 minutes to kind of get going. But then if there's like explosions and gunshots in the first five minutes, it's kind of like, okay, this is you know, too dramatic. So, uh, this depends. I mean, for Final Fantasy, it's got a good ratio of that. Amen. Trying to talk to this character is kind of 
But yeah, that, that, if you notice here how you have choices to kind of do some of these things, you know, once again, that's new, at least up to Final Fantasy VII, is, well, maybe it's not, I mean, I don't really recall, but there's a lot of things that you're going to get options as far as, like, you know, what you say to some of these folks, and some of them actually impact the game, but some of them are just kind of fun because it, you know, just like if I would have said to him, you know, he was kind of fretting, and it's like, you know, do you make whatever, you know, if I would have said no, or whatever I said to him, you know, you know this gives you incentive to play the game another time. That's what you're going to find with Cloud, because, you know, you're going to have to, I think you have to choose between Tifa and Ares, so we'll get to decide who Cloud gets by the end of this. But... Yeah, I think I did just watch the television. That's I was trying to talk about that in like an earlier recording of this that you can actually watch the television. So the news is on, and they're kind of talking about Avalanche. What we just got done blowing up that reactor. So if you if you notice that, you can watch the television at various points. I'll try to find some more of those. Sit there and do that. <coughs> Damn it, that was kind of loud. I saw that on my. Room recording software. Um.